was a hype squad all along? Always has been. Wayward soul, tell me your story. Well, I made a video on Digital Extremes talking about their tone-deaf approach to feedback, relinquished my position from their partners program. Two days later, they told their partners Freeform was coming. Two weeks later, the announcement went public. I remained cautiously optimistic, so I waited, and waited, and waited only for it all to be torn down and rebuilt from scratch, and taking the feedback channel with them. That's rough, buddy. It doesn't have to be all bad. They'd run the resources thin with us, dragging in too much dead weight, and didn't moderate the people who were in our position. Hell, I don't even think my low-effort stuff at the time should have been worthy of partner. Regardless of whether or not it was to save face, it's a clean slate. More variety creators such as artists and podcasters being allowed in, and not just green screen edit MLG channels or whatever the hell those are reading fell under. This digital extremes, what makes you think they won't make the same mistake again? They offered the dev team's ear to us back when we were a closer knit community, and while that word mattered for some time, the well dried up and eventually became a false promise. Can't disappoint you if they don't offer. They have their test servers now, and while I think they're going about it wrong in more than a few ways, it works out in the end. Can I have your glyph? I... wait, what? The glyph. You still have it, right? I mean, yeah, they're in limited supply, so patrons and Twitch subs... I gave you a shoulder to cry on here. The least you could do is fork over a JPEG for me. I'm leaving now. The gay one will continue to be pampered by the Canadians. You know who. Yeah, yeah. I hate my life.